Welcome to the Daniel and Yuka channel. In this video we'd like to share some lesser known family friendly travel locations close to Tokyo that avoid the crowds. Our road trip took us from busy Tokyo to Kanagawa and Shizuoka prefectures where we could experience mountains, lakes, rivers, waterfalls, beaches, volcanoes and the ocean. Hi everyone, I'm Daniel. Hi everyone, I'm Yuka. Kyle. Kyle here. We are tuning in today from Hakone. We drove all the way here from Tokyo on a very wet and wild day. Did you see that weather? The weather's pretty, pretty miserable. Over here, we can see the glamping tent. So let's check it out. The glamping place with the sauna. Find on through all these doors Touring basement couches and living room floors On to the next town, to the next show Cause I went and caught a dream and I can't let go And trying to break into some boys club <laughs> Yeah, in there. Man, I hope it's not too cold in here. But it's pretty cute. Oh my gosh, look at this. Beautiful. Wow, you can see the river right outside. Nature, yo. Kawaii. Kawaii, kawaii. Oh, it's smoke detector up there. Kawaii. Kawaii, kawaii. And out here, what have we got? Here's the way. We've got a sauna. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, sauna baby. Barrel sauna, butter. Some camping seats out here, which are very, very wet. You can rinse off. I think this is just like a hot tub. Wow, and here's the river. Oh my gosh, it looks really swollen. There's a lot of water. There's a lot of water. And here's another glamping thing here on this side. Ine. Tanashi. I can't open this one. Where's the key? After some technical difficulties, using the magnetic key to open the door to one of the glamping tents, we decided to go explore Hakone in the rain and mist. My gosh, it is wet. Over here we have the Hokone pirate ship. Over here we have the swan boats. And as you can see, oh, it's in pretty bad weather. Welcome, Hokone. After a rainstorm and mist settled over lakeside Ashinoko in Hakone, an eerie atmosphere akin to Silent Hill emerged. Amidst tranquility, Hakone Sekisho, part of Tokugawa Shogunate's network, was discovered. Built in 1619, it regulated weapon flow into Edo and hindered escape of feudal lords' families. Operational for 260 years until 1868, it was later restored between 1999 and 2007 using traditional Edo techniques, faithfully recreating structures and stone walls, resulting in a historical treasure preserving Hakone Sekisho's significance. Due to the wild winds, heavy rain, and poor visibility, even the birds didn't want to leave the safety of the trees. The secretive Ukuisu, Japanese bush warbler, sang a melancholic melody.
We sought shelter from the storm at a pizzeria called Pub Stop Pizza and Bar with craft beers by the local Okora Brewery on tap and a selection of vegan pizzas and traditional toppings. Kyle seemed to enjoy the music and the cozy vibe and we really enjoyed the Shirasu pizza on the fluffy bread base and the craft beer tasting set. My favourite beers from the tasting set were the Gora Stout, if you put my Kadaka beer or the Spectre Hazy IPA. Highly recommended. Feeling full and happy from the pizza and beers, we returned to the glamping site, eager to relax in the barrel sauna after a long day of driving. The atmosphere was very tranquil and it was so calming to hear the river in the background. Baby Kyle was exhausted after a long day of travelling and all the excitement from today. Time to recharge and dream of the adventures awaiting us tomorrow. Ayasumi nasai. Sleep time. How was the last night's sleep? Kaija yesterday. Camping. Camping. Night, Beautiful. Camping. So now 6.30. We booked the sauna. Oh my gosh, there's a finally blue sky, can you see? Oh, well, what's interesting Kaija. about that Lawson is that it has a lot of Evangelion like really? posters and merchandise that they sell there. Yeah. Mm. Look at that, the sun came out. Beautiful. We're so lucky. So today we are going to move it to Ito We are going to move it to Izu Peninsula. So, 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 we couldn't use yesterday this one, but Maybe this is a uh, And then also, yesterday was too foggy and rainy. That's why we couldn't use it. So it seems that this tent is uh, from UK. The cool things about this place is we can see Creek. Me there. So we can hear the... Oh, it this is... was a lot higher last night. Because so. it was raining so much. Seseragi so, tiyanami in Japanese, river sound. <laughs> and this is a kite for the first, and your first time. You like the sound? Bad sound? It sounds like all of the sounds of rain and everything that you listen to a lot at the house. Mm. Natural retreat, Kana. Mmm, man, I love the smell of sauna. Mmm, I know. Very relaxing. Just sakura ko yoru ka. Sakurako is a monthly Japanese artisanal snack box that supports local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. This month, Sakurako partners with the Kanagawa Prefectural Government for a limited edition, specially designed box inspired by the tranquil lake shores and therapeutic waters of Hakone. We invite you to discover Kanagawa's breathtaking natural beauty and indulge in authentic and local flavors that reflect the region's rich culinary heritage. Snack highlights include matcha cognac watabi mochi, white miso financier, Yokohama chocolate crunch, strawberry milk almonds, and many more. All of this pairs perfectly with the Hakone Story Rokucha Green Tea. This month's tableware item is a marquetry plate. Katatsumori. Katatsumori. Kyle began trying to roll over. Come back there. Come back. Come back. The next morning the weather had cleared up, so I decided to go for a walk and do a live stream. Check it out in the link above. 
we decided to continue driving further south as we had booked an Airbnb house in Ito on the Izu Peninsula. To get there we would need to drive through Atami and along the coast. Mount Omuro Lifto. Going up this kind of gondola thing. Oh my gosh. I have to hold Kyle and the baby beyond. Let's go. Yuru Kyan Season 2. Mount Omuro, standing at 580 meters above sea level with a distinctive bowl-shaped silhouette is one of the most well-known geosites in the Izu Peninsula and is a symbol of Ito City, Shizuoka Prefecture. It has a Michelin star rating in Michelin's Green Guide and was recognized as a UNESCO World Geopark in April 2019. To reach the summit, we had to ride a chairlift, which took about six minutes, with our feet dangling in the air and it was Kyle's first experience of a chairlift. At the top we were able to circumnavigate the rim of the crater in about 25 minutes. Stunning panoramic views. Oh, oh Kai-chan's awake again. Kai-chan! We really had a good time. Mount Omuro. Omuro. We can do hiking a little bit. Around On the lip of the crater. It was about a 20, 20 minute walk. Yeah. 20 minute, oh my God, minute walk. And even we can cover the baby, baby. up on here too. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Okay. Here we are. <laughs> Kyle is at the beach. <laughs> what is this beach called? <laughs> Nagahama Beach. In Shizuoka. Shizuoka. <laughs> and he's going to touch sand for the first time. This sand down here is nice. <laughs> And it's launched to the ocean tide. Hey. Sand and touching the ocean. See what you got there? A mushroom? Tanashi? He's shocked for words. Was it cold? Shiromiso! Japanese Shiromiso. Don't drop it on the beach, otherwise you'll actually get real sand on it. Oh, yeah. 
Maybe this sakura ko is good for the beach as well. Mm -hmm. right? We can just take this for Take it for a bed. picnic. Beach mm -hmm. picnic. Mm -hmm. right. Maybe we can enjoy with friends or family. family. Mm -hmm. Thanks, sakura ko. Arigato. We stopped at the beautiful and majestic Fudu waterfall in Yugawara, which has a drop of 15 meters and is surrounded by nature. Lush greenery, so much nature, so much water. Kyle loved the white noise of the waterfall. We've got a shirasu karage soft top and a lemon and miruku soft top. I think which one do you want to try first? Shirasu or lemon? No. Lemon. The fish taste is not too bad. Mm, what is it? It's more milk. But the more you chew the fish, then the more flavor there is of umami. Yeah? What is it? Come and check this out in Orawara. Thank you for watching our Kanagawa and Shizuoka adventure. What was your favorite area? Let us know in the comments.